This is my power, and I'm using it to go fast. All right, it's Sonic time. The time for Sonic is over. Today we're going to see the film Onward and the Cinema. And given that the title of the film is Onward, we're going onward to the next clip. We're at the cinema now, lads. Let's go. Boys, we're walking up. Here's my mate who's on TikTok. <laughs> Cringe. What up, my dude? <laughs> Here, do the run again. Do the run again. Okay. How is this related to onward at all? I have no idea, but like. <laughs> trolls? I mean, the internet trolls who subscribe to me. Hey. No! We found a Scoob statue! <laughs> oh. In the cinema now, but the movie hasn't started yet. Uh, what are your thoughts? What do you think the movie's gonna be like? Uh, I think it's gonna be epic. Like epic games. Nice. Yeah. Uh, did you just make a Fortnite reference? Yeah. I'll have you know this is a Sonic the Hedgehog channel. I'm not gonna smack you. Oh. With, with the straw. Sorry. Oh no! Oh no! But yeah, considering this is from Pixar, it's gonna make you cry. Is like, I cried in Coco and I cried at Toy Story 4. Like, I, I grew up with Toy Story and Cars. Cars was well, yeah, Cars was so good. I know. I <laughs> Not even. You gotta keep it modern. Chick Hex is the beloved. Kachiga, Kachiga. <laughs> Race cars don't need headlights. The track is always lit. lit. So is my brother, but he still needs headlights. <laughs> so, this is such a movie, though. Honestly, all my friends wanted to watch it. Watch it. Put it onward. Nice. Did, wait, did your girlfriend go? No. <laughs> your girlfriend didn't want to come with us today. Oh, well, because of Corona. Her uh, mom's pretty protective. Uh, she's a hypochondriac like myself. That, that's why. That's why we're sitting so spaced out. We're sitting in the back here. <laughs> but it would seem uh. They've closed off rows because uh, they don't want people being too crammed together, you know? Mm. This is going on YouTube just saying, so like, we're getting the nice shot you eating that popcorn. Mm. Give it a taste test. Uh, what's your review? What? What's your oh. th what's your review? In the popcorn? Yeah, like, what's your thoughts on it? It's a good popcorn? Yeah, it's pretty good. Nice. Sorry guys, I had to mute the audio at this point because we were recording some just uh, immediate thoughts after the film ended. However, the music from the credits was playing in the background, and I just didn't want to risk a copyright strike. Go see Onward, it's actually like, it's actually brilliant. Like, Pixar said they're gonna be doing original ideas, and I'd rather have seen that than another sequel to Cars. I mean, what's next? Cars for Lightning Kid Chow's The Planet. Chow in space. <laughs> um, there's, do you, there, there's big drafts. I can't even see him. He's sat some stuff. Uh, but yeah, I can see you onward, okay? Uh, what, what were your thoughts on the film? Just threw out a bag of popcorn and he was I'm sorry, but I was, I was, I almost cried. <laughs> it was very emotional. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, very good. Go see it. It's even a joke. I miss. <laughs> Uh, they said they were gonna keep the, this uh, cutout off the stand B for me, and uh, I, it, it's mine now. That's right. I'm gonna make everyone on this <laughs> on the Sonic like, movie Discord server so jealous. This is this is awesome. <laughs> okay, I'm back in the house uh, without uh, Thomas. Unfortunately, he got snapped out of existence, but we got the stand B sitting right there below the old Sonic. Uh, what a comparison. Like, gonna get a movie with this. Gonna be with this. Yeah, I'm really happy to have this on um, Need to find a place to put it. It's really big. I did not realize how big this thing was. Uh, yeah, that is very cool. Okay, I find the resting place for the standee. Uh, currently, it's only set up with some tack. I'm going to get some plastic clips at another point during the week so this guy can fully stand up looking like he's about to kick down my TV. Uh, yeah, that, I, I, I put that there intentionally. 
It's pretty funny stuff. <laughs> it's, it's the big ass smirk too. Like, look at the smirk. You, you think, you look at that and you're like, that guy knows what he's doing. He knows what he's about to kick down the TV. He's Sonic uh, from the movie. He's the hedgehog who ran around the bar trying to sabotage people. Oh yeah, and, and Onward. Onward. I forgot to mention a lot of stuff about Onward. But yeah, the film was very emotional. Um, centers around two boys, two brothers, called Ian and Barley. Barley is obsessed with a D and D like game called, I believe it's like Quests of Yore, or or something along those lines. But it's all based off facts of the old world when magic uh, was still around before magic was replaced by technology. Um, uh, Magical society basically evolved into our society. So these two boys try to bring their father back to life with the magic stuff, but only bring back uh, half of him. That is the <laughs> the legs. So they go on a quest to try and reunite themselves with the upper half of the father. And at the end, it's all very bittersweet, but it's quality Pixar. And I know that if you see it, you will like it and you will cry. Because while ultimately it's not as emotional as Coco, I prefer it over Coco. I'm sorry, saying that is a, is, is a sin in the eyes of anyone. Uh, because Coco uh, got so many awards. But this film also got awards. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. It was a good film, which was deserving of its awards. Also with Spider-Man. So, uh, you know. But yeah, onward. There's a lot of good humour in there. I was laughing a lot. Uh, you won't be disappointed by humour if you're going for a fun, good time. Uh, a lot of action. Uh, not really. It's not really an action-oriented movie. It's a lot more of a quest type film uh so there's a lot of adventuring uh a lot of fun stuff for anyone who loves a good uh film with a message about friendship there's a good message in there that and uh minor spoilers the brother realizes the younger brother ian realizes he doesn't need to meet his dad because that would ultimately undermine the fact I mean, that would ultimately undermine the fact that his older brother, Barley, uh, was, in, was, a, was a father figure for Ian growing up. And Barley never had a father figure. It's a very powerful message at the end. But yeah, onward, I'd give it a solid 9 out of 10. Uh, there are some parts which just feel a bit too dragged out. Uh, not as dragged out as some parts of the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, but just certain scenes which could have been cut down a little bit. And there were some rather cringy parts, like, uh, when, uh, sorry, once again, going into spoiler territory, uh, but Ian gets pen marks all over his face. Yeah. Uh, he, like, smudges pen all over his face, because when he's, like, making notes... To explain something to a group of people he wants to be friends with. Uh, yeah, that's the most spoilers I'm going to get into. But yeah, overall I'd give it a solid 9 out of 10. And I would really recommend seeing this movie. But uh, if you're a big Sonic fan like myself, I would still recommend going and supporting the Sonic movie as well. It's almost time for the film to leave cinemas. And we need a sequel. We want to see what happens with Tails. Uh... Yeah, I would recommend supporting both films. Because both films are cartoons released in 2020 about blue characters. Okay, that's my final word for the day. This is Robotnik, signing out.